Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to another all the new foods that I got to try in January, February, March this year. I got my hands on a few more products than usual, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not familiar with the series, at the end of every month, I just compile all my little taste tests so you guys could watch them all in one sitting and see what I think of all the new vegan products that I got to try. Real quick before we hop in, I just want to let you know that I'm starting to post exclusive videos on my Patreon. And these videos are ones that I might not be comfortable posting online. Might they be like too controversial or give out too much information or be about brands that I don't want to publicly say things online about. So if you're interested in any sort of like juicy type videos, I'm starting with posting one a month on my Patreon for my $5 up patrons. And patrons also get access to my videos a week early and they get access to my Finsta where I again post things that I can't post out to the general public. My Patreon is down below for you to check out. But without further ado, let's start this video. I wasn't planning on shooting this today, but then I looked at the expiration date and I saw that it expires today. So we have to shoot it. I got sent a package from My Bacon. My Bacon, nice packaging. Um, it's mushroom bacon. The ingredients are really short. Mushroom, salt, coconut oil, sugar, natural flavor, beet juice, and that's it. Two slices is 50 calories and three grams of protein. So I'm gonna cook up the whole batch just because it's going bad today, so I might as well cook it up. Um, it looks like this. I'm not gonna put any oil in the pan because that looks like oil. I mean, it's probably coconut oil. Um, so hopefully it doesn't taste coconutty. It smells kind of like like liquid smoke. I have high hopes actually. It looks a little bit like eggplant and it smells like mushroom and liquid smoke. It really is cooking up nicely. This is one that I've cooked for a few minutes and this is a fresh one. Just look at the difference. It does not smell like coconut oil. In fact, it smells like mushroomy, smoky bacon. It smells really good. And now I know what these little lines remind me of. They remind me of banana peel. Um, it doesn't bother me though. I just think it's kind of funny. Let's give it a try. I'm just gonna try it plain. I, can, I think I want to pat it a little bit because it's pretty greasy. I have to say one thing. Um, it's like not, I feel like a lot of vegan bacons like break easily. This is like a sturdy, this is a sturdy bacon. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm making another batch. Oh, it's salty. I'm making another batch to put in the fridge because, you know, it's going to expire. So I might as well cook it. It's chewy like a mushroom stem. You know how like mushroom stems are a little chewier than the rest of the mush mushroom? You just kind of have to like nya, nya, nya. It's like that. I don't know if if I would have cooked it longer, it would have gotten crispy. But it was getting kind of brown and I didn't want to burn it. But it's okay if bacon isn't crispy to me, it's fine. I'm not sure it's giving like bacon. Although it is like salty and savory like bacon. It's like mushroom jerky slash bacon. It's delicious. The ingredients are healthy, and I kind of like it. I would 100% eat it again, and I think it's gonna make a really good BLT. Very yummy, just a little bit chewy though. Mmm, I'm generally a fan. Good job. Okay, this is like a really quick review. Uh, Jelly Belly, Jelly Belly now has seltzers, and this is the um, very cherry one. We're gonna try it. There's also a chocolate one that I haven't tried, and I'm a little scared of it. Chocolate seltzer. Hmm. Tastes kind of good. Tastes kind of like when medicine is flavored cherry. Yeah, it is. It's fine. It's kind of good. Today's taste test is going to get a lot of you very excited. Apparently, Levain now has vegan and gluten-free cookies, and they sent me some. Actually, they sent me four gigantic cookies. Ooh. Vegan and gluten-free chocolate chip walnut cookies. I've actually never had a Levain cookie since before I went vegan, so this is going to be my first time trying one. They are fat and full of chocolate chips and packaged so cutely. Oh, they smell so good. 
Look how beautiful. I'm a big fan of when chocolate chip cookies are absolutely infested with chips. And these are that. Look how, look at the height. Not only is it beautiful this way, it's also beautiful this way. And we're just gonna go ahead and it open and we're gonna take a look at the inside. Oh my goodness, the height on this thing. It's crumbling all over the floor. That is so delicious. Again, I've never had like a real Levain cookie, so I don't know what to compare it to. So the flavor, it's like maybe 10, nine and a half, delicious. It's a little bit dry and crumbly. However, I did receive this cookie two days ago, so I'm sure it's better fresh in store. The chocolate chips are phenomenal. They're not like dark, they're creamy and a tad bit salted. They did so good. If you live in New York City, or if they deliver to you, definitely check it out. I'm about to take an energy shot for the first time in years, years. I used to take them a lot when I was younger. Um, and the reason this is, is because I just got sent some like natural vegan ones. Now listen, they're still like full of caffeine and stuff, okay? Um, but they're pretty. And they're from Carly's Naturals. Uh, and they're called Captain Carly's Natural Company. Captain Carly's Energy Shot. I see three flavors, ginger citrus, mixed berry hibiscus, and blood orange mandarin. All of them have 150 milligrams of caffeine. Vitamins B3, B6, B12. Natural colors. Ta-da! Blood orange mandarin sounds the most delicious right now. So that is what we're about to shoot. I'm having a very bit day, so I'm hoping this gives me a little pick me up. Also, the lighting right now, I don't know how long one of these is supposed to take to kick in, but I will get back to you in like an hour and tell you whether or not I feel hyped up. Oh, it smells very good. It smells like orange juice. It tastes like orange juice with like a slightly bitter aftertaste. It's not that bad. Okay, I'll come back in a little bit. It's been 20 minutes and I do indeed have energy. I was just sitting working and like my legs, like I was wobbling them back and forth furiously and I'm like, why am I doing that? And then I was like, I know I am doing that. Uh, but also I get really bad nice and flush and for some reason I totally forgot that. So my face is a little bit warm, but I'm not like swollen at least not yet and hopefully i won't be because nice and flush is the reason i stopped taking pre-workout energy drinks etc so it's it's just very unpleasant and i hope i won't get flushed because of the drink but i'll let you know if i do if i don't report back that it didn't get that bad but if it got bad i will come back i'm about to both de-influence and influence the heck out of you we'll start with the de-influencing so whole foods just came out with plant-based sushi. It's priced at almost $14 for a tray, which is insane, but I bought it for the taste test. I mean, visually, it looks pretty good. You got these little rolls, and you got this little, uh, I don't know what these are called, this type of sushi, you know, where the fish is just on top of it. I know it's not sashimi, because sashimi means no rice. It looks brown because I put soy sauce on it. I shouldn't have done that. Here, you could take a look at the one Roberto took a bite out of. See? Anyway, it tastes like nothing, and the texture is like sucking water out of a damp, thin sponge or a little washcloth. It's pretty bad. Not the taste, the taste is like nothing, and the texture is pretty bad. In the roll, you can't feel the texture or whatever, but in these, it's so weird putting wasabi on it to make it taste like something. I mean, I'm glad I bought it so I could tell you guys not to, but like what a waste of $14. When you chew it, water kind of comes out of it and that really, really throws me off. And there's like no nutritional value in it either. It doesn't taste like anything. There's no nutritional value in it. It just kind of looks like fish. That's my least favorite type of vegan product. The type that's just visual. Anyway, now let me influence you. I got my hands on the new plant-based Reese's peanut butter cups. I'll tell you where to find them. If you're in New York City, they're in the Times Square Hershey's store. If you're in Pennsylvania, it's in Hershey's World over there. Where else? 
Nowhere. Not yet. But there are rumors that it'll drop in Rite Aid soon-ish, maybe like in a month maximum. They taste very similar to the regular one, although not exactly the same. There's a slight oat milk flavor, but it's not bad. It's still really delicious. They went for a little over $2, which I forgot how much a regular Reese's peanut butter cup like is. So is that like the same as a regular one? Is that a little more expensive? I don't know. Um, but I bought a couple and I actually gave away a bunch on my Instagram. So if you're not following me on there, do it. Cause I, when I have a surplus of cool new things, I give them away because I love to share the love. So hope you enjoyed that influencing and de-influencing clip. This isn't really a taste test because I've tried these and I have thoughts. And by these, I mean the Light Life Turkey and Ham. I saw these for the first time just last week and I wanted slices and I decided to pick these up instead of my usual, which is tofurkey oven roasted or tofurkey ham. These were cheaper. Now I don't remember how much they were, but they were like a dollar cheaper than the tofurkey, which that's kind of cool. I've now eaten through each bag entirely except for the last slice so I could talk to you about it. And let's talk about the ham. The ham, well, let's get a little view of this ham. Uh, there it is. It tastes exactly like hot dog. This is, this tastes it precisely like hot dog. That's a hot dog. And it's a little dry. A little bit of a smoky hot dog. But you know what's drier? The turkey. The turkey is so dry. It's like kind of hard to swallow until you put like lots of mustard or mayo or whatever on the sandwich. Like, look, I folded it and look how it like kind of peeled apart because it was so dry. You see that? And it tastes like mostly nothing and a hint of turkey. Just a tiny little tiny tiny taste of little dry turkey breast. But, now let me say nice things. The macros, look at that. So the turkey is 100 calories per serving and 14 grams of protein. And the ham is 90 calories and 13 grams of protein. Not only is it higher in protein, it's also cheaper. So I don't think there's a clear winner here. It's like whatever your goals are. If you're shooting for flavor alone, Tofurky wins. If you're shooting for price point and protein, light life wins because they might be dry, but like put it in a sandwich with a bunch of other stuff, like it's fine. Like it tastes fine, you know? While I didn't give it the most glowing, glowing review, I would buy it again. Yeah, does that make any sense? <laughs> That's all, bye. Today I'm trying an instant meal from Loma Linda and I'm a little nervous because I don't think I've ever liked anything from Loma Linda, but I've never seen an instant meal from that one second. I've never seen an instant meal from them before. Um, so I was curious, I got it and the instructions said to microwave for 60 seconds. So, but, but let's be real, like it's not, it wasn't ready, it still was cold. So I'm gonna give it another minute or so and then we're gonna try it together. Okay, I did one more minute and I think it's good. This is the, the plant-based goodness Southwest bowl with chipotle peppers, 60 second to heat. Now that's a lie has some veggies in here, bell pepper, sweet corn, onion. It smells like, a little bit like Chipotle barbecue. Hmm. It looks good enough. Not bad. It tastes like when people try to make barbecue jackfruit. You know, it's not bad. It's a little bit spicy. It's not bad. It's not amazing. And it's convenient. And it's healthy enough for an instant meal. Sorry for insulting you earlier, Loma Linda. But I would be more curious to try other flavors to see if any of the other flavors are better. A little update. The more I eat of it, the less I like it. So I would update my rating to would not buy again, but would eat if it was there, you know? There's a weird taste. I got another work instant meal review for you. And today it's Sweet Earth. Sweet Earth is one of those companies that doesn't usually hit for me, but butter chicken sounds good. Wow, this is not a lot of food. I feel like I'm gonna be hungry. <laughs> um, it's 
says plant-based chicken and chickpeas and a vegan tomato cream sauce and microwave on high for three minutes I will be back then mm. I think there's half a cup of food here it's so little food and it smells mid I don't know why I keep giving certain brands chances and they keep flopping. Cheers. It literally just tastes like rubbery chicken, vegetables in tomato sauce and a little bit of rice and a little bit of spice. There is no butteriness to this chicken. This is just... No. You know how once a month I get a really exciting thing to taste test? Well, today's really exciting thing is not even out on the market yet. How did I get a hold of it? Well, I had a friend that went to a food expo and I asked him if he could, can he snag me one and bring it back? And yes, he did, which is why I have Dandy's latest product, their marshmallow cream. It's not out yet, but I imagine it'll be out soon since they finally have the packaging all together. They've been teasing this product for over two years now. Um, and I really wanna dig into it. I know a lot of you guys are gonna ask me about the ingredients and the macros it seems like it's mostly a uh, sugar vanilla flavor and some like potato protein tapioca starch um it is uh, two tablespoons for 40 calories and honestly it's not a health food so like i don't really care much about macros and stuff for marshmallow fluff oh why can't i open it it smells like vanilla marshmallowy goodness it smells so freaking good. <laughs> oh, by the way, the friend that got me this, his name is Craig. He goes by No Egg Craig on YouTube and Instagram, and you should definitely check him out. Whew, let's just, let's just get into this. Look at that, look at that. Wait, wait, let me do it again. Whoop. This is so good. <laughs> this is so good. It's marshmallow fluff. It's sweet and vanilla-y. Wow, that is loud. And fluffy. It's all I could ever want. I can't wait till this comes out. Follow me on Instagram. As soon as I find it in stores, I will let you guys know where to snag it. Good job, dandies. This is delicious. I look like I'm a little kid in like their jammies. Someone gifted me this super coffee. It's a vegan keto bottled coffee. So I'm assuming it like doesn't have sugar or anything. Keto plant-based dairy-free gluten-free. It's in the flavor strawberry donut and I've seen these things around. Strawberry donut isn't a flavor I would pick for myself. So if I don't like this, it might just be because I don't like the flavor. I've seen other flavors like mocha, caramel, you know, things that I think I would be more into, but I'm down to try it. It was given to me, not by the brand, by someone I know in real life. And they said that they love these things, so. Oh yeah, zero grams added sugars, 10 grams plant protein, MCT oil. Oh, it smells kind of like Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, interesting, okay. I will not be consuming any more of that. And it's because it tastes exactly like artificial sweetener and nothing else. My tongue is burning with the taste of artificial sweetener right now. Oh my god, I can't be that bad. I'm doing it again. This is so bad. Can't do it. No, no, no. And that's all I have for today. Give me your feedback on anything. There's one thing that I have to say is the mushroom bacon that I tried in the beginning of the video, I definitely did undercook it. The brand reached out and said that I should have cooked it a little while longer and it would have gotten crispy. But at that point I had already eaten all the bacon so I couldn't test that theory. I did not cook it as long as 
I should have because I was afraid of burning it, but if I ever get the chance again, I'll cook it longer and we'll see if it crisps up nicely. But that is all I have for today. Let me know what you think of my reviews. Do you agree? Do you disagree? And what should I look for for next month? Like if you like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. You can also check out my TikTok where I also post every single day. And oh my gosh, I downloaded Lemon 8. I don't know if it's going to be a thing, but just in case, I just hopped right on there and put my username. We'll see what happens. Gotta be honest, I am tired of the new apps. But that's all for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye! Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Lucia, Alex Creates, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex, Planet Earth, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Daisy, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Abigail, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Matt, Mariana, Andrew, McKenna, Shanta, Adrian, Don, Susan, Trudy, Clark, and Sarah. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content. I also have a TikTok and an Instagram if you want to check me out there and merch. Always down in the description. See ya!